Hello friends, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can download and install Android Studio. At first, we will install Java, then we will install Android Studio. We will see how we can install Java JDK 13 on Windows 10. So Java JDK 13 released on September 17, 2019. So it's a new release and you should know how to install it easily on Windows 10. For that, first we will go to oracle.com. Therein we will download, then we will install JDK or I should say Java JDK on Windows 10. After that we will set environment variables which is a key part and at the end we will just verify the installation. So to know that we have successfully installed it or not. So let's begin with the first part. Go to oracle.com Go to oracle.com Type Java JDK 13 Press enter Click on downloads here. Now you can see the Java SC development kit 13 downloads is visible. Go to the bottom and click on accept license agreement. After that, after accepting, you can see versions for Linux, Mac and Windows are available. Okay, so for Windows, you need to go for 64 bit because Java JDK 13 will install on 64 bit Windows only for Windows operating system. If you don't know that your system is 64 bit or 32 bit, you can go to start and check from there itself. Let's check. Go to start write about press enter on writing about the system info would be visible and here you can see 64 bit operating system is written here which is which means that it is a 64 bit operating system there is another way you can go to start and type system on typing system press enter press enter and the system information is visible within that you can see the system type here is 64 bit x64 is 64 bit so we have checked successfully now we will click on exe to download jdk 13 click on it to download now you can see the downloading has started on the left and it will install it will download perhaps 160 mb so let's wait for it wait for the download now you can see we have successfully downloaded java jdk 13 now go to the folder here you can see jdk 13 is visible double click on it to install now the dialog box is visible to download to install perhaps java jdk 13 click on next here the path would be c programs files java jdk 13 the same will get installed here or you can also check with that you can check that it will require 420 MB on your hard drive. So you should have that much space. Here if you want to change the path you can change it from here. Now click on next. Now the installation begins. Now we have successfully installed JDK 13 as you can see here 64 bit. Now click on close. Now we can go to start and check under CMD that whether we have installed it or not. It won't show anything because right now we haven't set the path. So now let's set the path first as you can see the steps here. Oracle.com we went to Oracle.com we downloaded and installed JDK 13. Now we'll set environment variables. For that go to start and type environment variables. The easiest way. Now edit the system environment variables. Yes click on it. Now you need to click on environment variables. After clicking below you can see the path is visible under system variables double click on it but before that you need to set the path here so let us get the path now we'll go to the path where we have installed JDK it was in C drive if you remember program files Java and with that Java JDK 13 under that go to bin and copy the path now go to the environment variables double click on path under system variables and go to new going to new paste control V now the path we have set successfully for JDK 13 click on OK now click on OK again and then the last OK would set our environment variables for us 
now we will go to start and type cmd to check whether we have successfully installed java or not jdk now right click and open it on the run as administrator now under system 32 or cmd now type java hyphen version to check whether we have successfully installed jdk 13 or not and press enter on pressing enter if you can see java version 13 and the date when it released that means we have successfully installed java jdk 13 on our windows 10 operating system so guys we successfully installed java now we will install android studio let's begin here first go to google type android studio here you can see the link is visible on the right you can see that android studio is an integrated development environment by google it is built on JetBrains and the current release is 4.1 preview release it supports windows mac linux chrome os license is freeware size you can see here developed by google and JetBrains and it is written in java kotlin and c++ so at first we will go to the developer.android.com official website this is the official website for android and we will download it from here click on it on clicking now you can see it has automatically detected that we are on windows version is 4.0 for windows 64 bit and the size is 871 mb on clicking there is an agreement read it and selected on selecting the exe file is visible click on download to download now the download will begin here you can see on the left the exe file has begun so it will take some time now we have downloaded it double click on it on double clicking the setup will load now you can see welcome to android studio setup here the setup will guide you through the installation you need to click on next to continue now on clicking next you can see you need to choose the components so here you can see the space required is 2.6 gb so you need to just select it or it has been by default selected so keep it as it is and click on next now you can see it will ask for the location so the location specified must have at least 500 mb of free space so hope you are having it so it will get installed under c program files android android studio folder will get created you need to click on next if you want to change it you can click on browse and and install it at another location from here but i'll keep it as the default and click on next on clicking next, you can see you can choose the start menu folder and if you don't want to create a shortcut you can select this option and it won't create a shortcut so i'll keep the default and i'll click on install now you can see the extraction has begun and the installation has also started here are the details So it has been completed now click on next installation is complete as you can see above on clicking next you can see you can straight away start android studio from here as it is by default selected so it will open on clicking finish now you can see the android studio will load at first it is asking that do you want to import android setting from the previous installation we don't have any previous installation it is a default setting it is asking no we don't want to import setting we will keep the default that is this option and click on ok now you can see the android studio will open now it is begun here you can see you need to click on next on clicking next do you want a standard install or custom so we want a custom installation let's click on custom we will click custom and click next here you can see it is asking for the jdk version we have jdk 13 installed on our system so we need to locate it from here so now we'll click on the three dots click on it here you can see go to the java folder under program files we install java in that you can see java 13 go for java 13 select the folder click ok that's it that's it now click on next we have set the jdk part in it select the theme the new theme is the black one dark theme we will select it and click on next so here you can see it. Uh, you need to select the components for setup for installation so here you can see the default one is set here it will install the hxm 
HXM is the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager, which is an hardware assistant virtualization engine which you need to install to install Android Studio. Here it will also install the SDK 310 MB. So you just need to click on next. Here you can check the Android SDK location, keep it a default. The total download size would be 429 MB. Now click on next. Now you to select the emulator settings. So for emulator setting, emulator would be a virtual device wherein you can run your app, test your app. We will see it later. Here you need to select the RAM for it. So if you'll keep it more, that would be great for your emulator. It will run faster. We will set it. Just drag it. After dragging, click on next. We click next. Here you can check that what all will get installed. SDK build tools. SDK platform, SDK tools, HXM as we saw before, the patch, emulator, everything we get installed. You just need to click on finish here. Here you can see the downloading of components has begun. Here you can see the details. It will take some time. Here you can see the download is completed. Now you are welcome to Android Studio. Everything is complete. Now click on start a new Android project from here. Here you can see, you just need to click on it. Here you can see the project template. You need to select it. Above you can see the templates are visible for phone and tablet, Wear OS, that is your Android watch, TV, Android TV, Automotive, Android Auto and the Android things. So you need to select any of them. For simplicity, for the initial purpose, you will only select for phone and tablet and the empty activity here you can see. Select it and click on next. On clicking next, you need to set the name of the app your project. I'll set it as Amit application. The package name, you can set the name of the website. Com. I'll set the name of the website. You can set the package name as it is. In the same way, you do it for Java. Location, keep it as it is. Language, I'll select Java. And just click on finish now. Here you need to also see for the minimum SDK, keep it the default. And you, all, you can you can also see that the, your app will run on your app will run on approximately 99.8% of devices. So keep the minimum SDK as it is. That is API 60. But it is Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Now click on finish. Now our Android Studio project will begin. Here you can see it is loading. Now you can see the project is visible. Here are the project files for a default app which we created. You can see the package name. We set the same. The name of the project we have set Amit application. The same is visible here. Main activity Java is where your actual code is of the app and activity underscore main.xml file. Always remember XML file in an Android project is for GUI. That is your graphics. You can see the processes were running. Now the background processes are running task for a new project. Now here you can see we need to create an AVD Android virtual device to run another project. For that go to tools and click on AVD manager. On clicking now you can see a new UI visible. You need to click on create virtual device here. So that you can easily check or test your apps create an app you can test it easily by running again and again so this is like a virtual device after clicking create virtual device you need to select device definition here you can see name is visible you can see the device here as well as the resolution and the size of the screen you can also check the density here after that you need to click on next so let's see which one we will select we have selected pixel 2 and now we'll click on next. The size is 5 inch. On clicking next, you need to select a system image and download it. This is because you are creating a new virtual device, Android virtual device. So here you can see on the left, release name and API level is visible. Select accordingly. So we'll be downloading for Q, that is API level 29. Here, read the license agreement, accept it, and click on next. On clicking next, the component installation has begun. You need to wait for some seconds. The package is installing. Now you can see the installation is complete. All the components have been installed. Now I will click on finish. 
here you can see we have downloaded now click on next on clicking next it is asking for the EVD name if you want you can change it rest every other option is visible that is startup orientation it will be visible as portrait or EVD by default with that you can check the density also the resolution also under advanced setting you can see we have clicked on advanced setting you can see the storage is visible the internal storage by default would be 2 GB that is 2048 MB now you need to click on finish to finish the process now you can see our virtual device is visible if you remember the name was pixel 2 API was 29 resolution was the same now you need to click on this icon play icon to run it I'll click on it as you can see it will launch now your virtual device is visible here AVD now click on run to run the app go to run menu and click on run now click on app if you clicked on run app above you wouldn't have need to do this we'll click on app here the build is running because you have run the app here the pixel device if you remember device was pixel it is starting cradle build finished you can see now you can see there is no error here you can see it is launching the app the default Amit application app Amit application is visible it's the title of the app hello world is visible so we have created our first demo app now let's see the XML file here you can see hello world is visible here so this was a GUI I told you the graphics if you want to create a button just drag it if you want to create a scroll view text view just drag it here and do the settings that's it so in this video we saw how we can easily download and install Android Studio we downloaded Android Studio for Windows 10 we also installed the packages SDKs AVD we selected pixel 2 as our AVD you can select any of the options which will visible there after that we also saw how we can create a new Android app we created a new Android project and we ran our first app also under Android virtual device thank you for watching the video hope you liked it for more such videos and videos on programming subscribe to Amit Things YouTube channel so guys we successfully installed Android Studio so guys we successfully installed Java now we will install Android Studio let's begin